hello guys welcome to another video in the previous video we learned about uh, two types of uh, propagation first one is sexual propagation and second one is asexual propagation in this video we will learn about the advantages and disadvantages of sexual propagation and asexual propagation we already know about that sexual propagation is caused by the formation of seed and the advantages of uh, sexual propagation are it is simplest easiest and the most economical process among various types of plant propagation some plants trees vegetables or fruits species can propagate on only through sexual propagation example marigold papaya tomato this type of propagation leads to better crop species that are stronger, disease resistant and have longer lifespan. Viral transmission can be prevented in this type of propagation. Sexual propagation is responsible for production of large number of crops and that too with uh, different varieties. It is the only propagation process in which resultant offspring have genetic variation and exhibit diversity of characters from parent crops. This genetic variation is responsible for continuous evolution that keeps on producing better and better offspring. Easy storage and transportation of seeds. So these are the advantages of sexual propagation. Now we are going to learn about the disadvantages of sexual propagation. Here are the disadvantages of sexual propagation. Seeds take a long time to turn into mature plants. Time interval between sowing and flowering is longer. Seedlings propagated through sexual propagation are unlikely to have same genetic characteristics as that of parent plants. Some plant species do not produce viable seeds through sexual propagation and hence are unsuitable to propagate for the same. Plants that do not have seeds can't be propagated through their process. So these are the dis disadvantages of sexual propagation. Now we are going to learn about that uh, asexual propagation. We already know that vegetative propagation co uh, also called as asexual propagation is another method of plant propagation used widely in horticultural crops. Vegetative propagation uses several plant parts by uh, for re uh, reproducing the plant asexually, vegetatively or uh, asexually propagation is accomplished entirely through mitosis. The primarily advantages of um, clones is the uniformity of the member plants. Each daughter cell is an exact replica of its mother cell. Chromosome numbers and composition do not change, do not change during the cell division. Here we can see the figure of asexual propagation such as cutting, layering, my, uh, my, um, macroting, budding, grafting and many more. So, now we are going to learn about the advantages of asexual propagation. Here are the advantages of asexual propagation. As resultant species formed through asexual process are genetically identical. Useful traits can be preserved among them. Asexual propagation allows propagation of uh, crops that do not process seeds, those which are not possible to grow from seeds. For example, jasmine, sugarcane, potato, banana, rose, etc. Plants grown through vegetative propagation bear fruits early. In this type, only a single parent is required and thus it eliminates the need for propagation mechanisms such as pollination, cross-pollination, etc. The process is faster than sexual propagation. This helps in rapid generation of crops which in turn balances the loss. Injured plants can be recovered or repaired through techniques involved asexual propagation. So these are the advantages of asexual propagation. Now we are going to learn about the disadvantages of asexual propagation. Here are the disadvantages of asexual propagation. And the disadvantages are 
diversity is lost in asexual propagation which is the main reason behind occurrence of diseases in future plant species. As many crops are produced with, the, with this process, it leads to overcrowding and lack of nutrients. New varieties of crops cannot be developed in this type of propagation. Asexual propagation is an expensive process that requires special skills for successful cultivation of crops. Crops produced through this process have shorter lifespan than those grown through sexual process. Species involved in this process are less likely to resist pests and diseases. So these are the uh, disadvantages of uh, asexual propagation. Uh, that's all for today. We will learn uh, different types of classification in the uh, classification of propagation in the next video. Thanks for watching.